How are you, sir? I'm doing fine. When customers first notice serving police showing up at Off Top Barbershop, oh, who got caught up today? <laughs> they figure something's up. First time we came into the shops, people was like nervous. What's your name, man? Customers soon see the visit is a positive one, part of an Irving Police program called Shop Talk. It's a good way to communicate and reach out. Barbershop in the African American community is like a communications channel. Oh, they get conversations. Here, customers talk about everything. Say what goes on in the barbershop, yeah, at the barbershop. <laughs> They tackle the fun. Lots of sports. It's a lot of character in here, you know? And the serious. Current events. Including what's going on in other parts of the country. There have been a lot of things on the news over the last few years. Today, more protests in Ferguson, Missouri. Hundreds of protesters demanding justice. When there's a incident involving a police shooting, that's when People are upset. Police want to have a voice in that conversation, so they make regular visits to Irving Barber shops. You didn't come the wrong day. <laughs> no, you came the right day. They work to build relationships and understanding. No question is off limits. What is the procedure when you do get stopped? Because I have young men that I'm raising, and I have to understand that there's things going on, I want them to be safe. And to give the barbers some knowledge they can share with their customers, they're going to be putting their scissors down to get their hands on something else. You ever fired a pistol? No, sir. On this day, barbers in the Shop Talk program are at the training academy in the simulator room. And you just need to deal with whatever is there. Okay. All right? All right. In this exercise, he's responding to a reported gas station robbery. When it's done, Ray Johnson finds out there may have been more to the story. That could have been your brother running out or a co-worker running out trying to get away from the gunfire. It could be right. the next guy that actually had the gun, but you shot the first guy that came out, right? That is. Yeah, so the what kind of, guy too. how's that going to look on the news? <laughs> it's not going to look not good. Not going to look good, right? Mm -mm. I think a lot of times we don't know actually what they do go through. The simulation helps you to see from another angle that they really are trying to do the best job they can do it. That exercise is part of the latest quarterly luncheon for the Shop Talk group. A chance for all of the barbers to get together with police and talk about what they are hearing in their shops. We can't control the past, but going forward, I think we're doing some good here. There's certainly a greater understanding of why things happen the way they do. And when people understand, they're able to maybe more readily accept, maybe not agree, but at least accept that, that things are happening for a certain reason. You have a great deal of influence on folks. They go into the community, they're with the residents, they're with the businesses, and when there's issues that arise, they can address them right then and there. Excellent. Great, thank you. You can see it's not always so serious. Irving police hosted a block party outside Mitchell's barber shop last year, and they hope to have another one. They are also hoping other departments across the country take notice of their success. We really want to expand this their program outside of Irving so that when there are some issues that people feel comfortable coming to the police department, talking to us about it, and telling us, hey, look, you know, this is going on in my neighborhood. Back at Off Top Barbershop, some customers talk openly about their concerns. Intimidation. <laughs> Intimidation. Yeah, like, really like they're being picked with or something. But it don't always be that. The conversations we heard were more balanced. People say, oh, 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 this. I can say, hey, man, you got to put yourself in those guys' shoes. And they are now used to having the company of Irving Police in their shop. A big change from how it was at first. Who getting arrested and what happened? But now there's a chance to change it up, you know. Now people can see, okay, lay your head back, it's all right. You gotta open the door and start certain conversations. Police say they are growing relationships that can lead to better understanding and ultimately safer communities. That's what it's about, getting everybody's voice out. Thomas Gandy for City Source.